everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Donna Clarkson with All ESL Everything. Today, I am going to walk you through Mock Certification Level 2 and 3, Option B. If you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button and hit that bell to get notifications of new videos. All right, let's go. This video will cover Option B of the Interactive Level 2 class. If you're not familiar with the mock class certification, basically you're going to receive material to review for option A and option B. Once you go um, to your mock class, your mock class mentor or the MCM will decide which option you should do. So it's very important that you review both option A and option B. I've done a video for option A and I will post the link in the description box. All right. Let's get to it. Okay, let's talk about the things you need for this lesson. I have a whiteboard, a kite, I have a doll and a ball, and my reward. I will talk about the reward um, later on when we get to that slide. You will also need a headset, or you can use earbuds with a microphone. You need good lighting, you need an internal or external webcam. I will leave the links to everything that I'm using in the description box. While I'm going through the slides, I will stop and let you know why I'm doing what I'm doing so that you'll have understanding of how to teach a VIP kid class. If you have not applied yet, please use my link below in the description box and use my referral code. Send me an email at alleseleverything at gmail.com and I will send you my website. I also offer resources and one-on-one -on -one coaching. All right, so make sure you have your slides right next to you so that you can follow along. Let's get started. All right, slide one, my friends and I. This is the introduction slide. This is where you will build rapport with the students. Make sure you have your name available. They want it to, they want to see it visible. You can um, use a construction paper or whatever you have. Put your name, slap it on your um, background, and you're good to go. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so this is how I will teach this slide. Make sure that when you are listening to them that you're cupping your ears so that the um, facilitator knows that you are listening and make sure that you get the student to speak in complete sentences. All right, so here we go. Hello, my name is teacher Donna. What is your name? Alice, hi Alice. My name is Alice. Good job. Alice, how old are you? Five. Wow, I am five years old. Good job, Alice. Are you ready? Let's go. Yes. Make sure that you are clicking to the next slide as you're saying go so that you will keep on time. Okay, we are on the next slide now. This is the reward slide. You can use the built-in reward. It's my toys. They want the student to um, do the interactive motion, which is drag and drop. And you can have the student choose a toy and drag and drop it into the cart. You are more than welcome to use your own reward. I will be doing that. I have a goal and some soccer balls that I will stick to the goal. Make sure that your reward is visible if you're not using the built-in reward. So I will make sure that Alice knows the function of dragging and dropping. So I'll bring out my soccer ball and I'll say, Alice, soccer ball. Good job. Drag and drop, soccer ball. Good. If she or he, your student, has an issue with dragging and dropping, go ahead and do it for them first. Um, you want to model it for them. Then they can go ahead and do it for themselves. 
So you just want to make sure that they understand the interactive lesson, because like I mentioned before, they're going to do this motion throughout the lesson. All right, so this is how I would do my reward. Alice, when you do a good job, you get a soccer ball. Good job, Alice. Go. Yes, good job. All right, let's go. Okay, now we are on slide three. This is the vocabulary slide. If you look at the upper right hand, you'll see I dash vocabulary. That means that we are introducing the slide. This is also the I do part of I do, we do, you do method. Basically, I am going to do most of the work. The student is basically going to repeat after me. So I will have my kite and my doll. I will circle the word kite, bring it out. Kite. Good job. Kite. Good job, Alice. Then I will go on to the sentence, underline the sentence, underline my kite. I fly my kite. Good job, Alice. High five. Psh, psh. Move on to the second word, doll. Circle the word, doll. Good. Doll. Good job. Underline the sentence. This is my doll. This is my doll. Good. This. Good job, Alice. You get a soccer ball. Good. Go. Good job, Alice. Okay, so now you move on to the next slide. All right, so now we are on slide four. This is the practice slide. You see upper right hand corner, P dash vocabulary. That means that we are practicing the words kite and doll. So on this slide, um, the tips, teacher tips, want the student to draw a line to finish the sentence. So I'll start out by reviewing the two vocabulary words. Get my props, circle doll, doll. Good job. Kite, circle kite, kite. Good job, Alice. Okay. So now I want to teach the sentence and have Alice draw a line. So I would circle the picture, shrug your shoulders. Hmm. She fly a kite. Good job. Now you want Alice or your student to draw a line from the word kite to the sentence. So I would say, Alice, draw a line. Or I will actually do it for her if she's not understanding. Good job. She flies a kite. Good job, Alice. Then I will move on to the next sentence, which is, this is her dog. Get my doll, circle the picture. Alice, hmm, this is, good job, excellent. We'll go ahead and have her draw the line. Draw a line, Alice. This is her, good job. This is her doll. Awesome work. Bye bye. Move on to the next slide. Now we are on slide five. If you look at the upper right hand corner, it says a dash vocabulary. That means this is the application slide. We want the student to drag and drop the words kite and doll after the question 
what is it? So first, we want to have them remember the words. So we get a doll. I would circle the word doll, well, the picture doll, and I would say, hmm, Alice, what is it? Doll, good. It is a doll. Could Alice drag and drop? Drag and drop doll. Good job. Same thing with the kite. Circle the kite. Alice, what is it? Good. It is a kite. Good job, Alice. Drag and drop. Good job. Okay, Alice, you get boop, a soccer ball. Very good. One, two. Good. Two soccer balls. Very good. Good job. Then you move on to the next slide. All right, so now we are on slide six. In this slide, we are introducing a new verb, fly. I want the student to say the word twice and each sentence a couple of times. So I will go ahead and start by circling the word fly. Fly. Good job. Then I will go ahead and underline the sentence, he flies a kite. He flies a kite. Good job. Get your board out. He flies a kite. Good job, Alice. Move on to the next sentence. I fly a kite. Let's start out by circling. I fly a kite. Good job. Get your board out. I fly a kite. Good job. Move on to the next sentence, circle. For this one, it's my sister, so you can get a doll, or you can get another, um, you get Meg on a stick, underline, my sister flies a kite. Good job. Get your board out. Right by she, you can put my sister. My sister flies a kite. Good job, Alice. Then you move on to the next slide. Okay, so now we are on slide seven. We are practicing the word fly and flies. So we can go ahead and circle both words. Start out by circling fly. Fly. Good job. Circling flies. Flies. Good job, Alice. Now you want to have them drag and drop the word fly or flies into each sentence. So I will start out by asking them, underline the first one. She flies or fly a kite. Drag and drop. Good. She flies a kite. Good job, Alice. If your student is having some issues or problems with fly and flies, this is a good time to get your board out. And you can actually go through the word. She Good. A kite. Good 
Good job, Alex. Same thing with the next one. Go ahead and underline it. And you can get to to have them say they who flies a kite. Good job. Same thing. Oh, drag and drop. <laughs> and if they don't know it, same thing. Get up here. They. A kite. Good job. Drag and drop. And the last one. I fly a kite. You can actually go to the board if they're having issues. Or you can just say, underline it. I. A kite, good. Drag and drop. Good job, Alice. You get whoop, soccer ball. One, two, three. Good job, Alice. High five. Move on to the next slide. All right, now we are on the eighth slide. For this slide, we want the student to apply what they have learned. So it's an, actually an audio. You can go ahead and click on it. Student listens to it and repeats the sentence. Then you want the student to drag and drop the picture with the corresponding audio. So I will start by saying, Alice, who flies a kite? Press the audio. Listen. She. Good. She flies a kite. Good job. Drag and drop. Move on to the second one. Before you press the audio, who flies a kite? Press the audio. Listen. He flies a kite. Good job. Drag and drop. Move on to the next one. Who get this kite up? Flies a kite. Press the audio. Listen. I fly a kite. Good job, Alice. High five. Move on to the next slide. All right, so now we are on slide nine. If you look at the upper right-hand corner, it says I for introduce slash sentence frame. So we are going to introduce the new sentence frame with the question, do you throw a ball? Yes, I throw a ball. And do you swing on a swing? No, I don't swing on a swing. So you can use a puppet or a stuffed animal. I'm gonna use dino. You want to show um, the student that one person is asking the question and the other is answering the question. So I'm going to say, do you throw a ball? Yes, I throw a ball. Now ask the student, do you throw a ball? Yes, I throw a ball. Good job. Then you move on to the next question. Do you swing on a swing? No, I don't swing on a swing. Then you ask the student, Alice, do you swing on a swing? No, I don't swing on a swing. Good job, Alice. High five. You get soccer ball. You count the balls for the students. One. Two. Good job. Four. Good job, Alice. Then you move on to the next slide. So now we are on the next slide. This slide, we will be applying the sentence frames they just learned. So we can ask um, the questions, do they or does he? do whatever activity they see on the picture. So you can start by circling the first picture. Alice, do they 
fly. The kite. Yes, they fly. Good job. Now to test her knowledge, I'll go ahead and circle the second picture and say, Alice, do they fly a kite? No. They do not fly a kite. Good job, Alice. Then you move on to the last picture. Circle. Alice, does he throw a ball? Yes, he throws a ball. Good job, Alice. Now, if your student says throw, yes, he throw a ball, make sure you correct. Throws a ball. You might have to do a little bit more correcting on this slide, and that's fine. Just make sure that you catch everything. All right, now we're on to the next slide. Okay, on the last slide, I forgot to go over swing on a swing. So you will ask, do they swing on a swing? Listen. Yes, they swing on a swing. Good job, Alice. Then you move on to the next slide. Okay, so this is the free talk slide. This is where you want the student to extend what they have learned, and you want the student to have fun. So you can ask um, questions like, Alice, what do you See, says she can say a ball or a kite. Good. I see a ball. Good job. Make sure they say it in complete sentences. I see a kite. Good job, Alice. Alice, do you throw a ball? Good job. Alice, do you fly a kite? Yes, I fly a kite. Good job, Alice. This is where you want to extend. So if you see something else, or if they learn the word doll, put the doll back out, and you can ask, Alice, do you see a doll? No, I don't see a dog. Good job, Alice. You get a soccer ball. I have another. I actually put the soccer ball already up. So you get another soccer ball. Soccer ball. Yay. <laughs> then you move on to the next slide, which is the goodbye slide. Okay, so this is the goodbye slide. Pretty simple. You want to. Um, count how many rewards they got. So I would say, Alice, you did a great job today. How many soccer balls did you get? One. Yes, good job. I have five soccer balls. Good job, Alice. Alice, I will see you next time. Goodbye. And that's it. You are done with your slides. Okay, guys, we are done. I wish you the best of luck on your mock certifications. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comment box. And if you don't have a mentor, again, you can email me at all ESL everything at gmail.com. Use my referral code with the application link in the description box. We are done. Bye.